keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Develop Africa environment. Keep on going. Keep on going. Hi, my name is Dana Simovic. I'm from Sweden. I would like to take you back to 2010 on a bus journey from Kampala to Soroti in Uganda. And there was a moment in this bus something happened. A lady sitting beside me, she was throwing out a water bottle from the window. And I was thinking in that moment, how can I be a part of Uganda's future? Because Uganda is the pearl of Africa, they say. But I see Uganda is green, but unfortunately it's not clean. And I grew up in a country, in my school, where we had a project we called Keep Sweden Clean. So with this idea, we're developing a new Africa, I would like to bring my life experience in Kampala school. I am here to tell you about a new program uh, that has come into our schools, a new intervention that has come into our schools and it is about environment and hygiene. It's called named Developing a New Africa. The program promotes um, proper hygiene and sanitation in schools, uh, gardening, and a clean environment and water and sanitation. And Dana has has provided us with tanks. tanks. Big tanks for water, clean water. Children use the water for irrigating the garden and also washing their hands when they use the toilets, when they go to the canteen. This one is used to wash our hands and we are calling it a tip tap. We use it to decrease on the amount of water wasted in our school. It also puts down the bills. Because when we are using our tap, the amount of water the kids waste a lot of water. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. We have all the intentions to see it move out of the city so that more and more schools in the upcountry places can benefit. Because this program is uh, complementing the Uganda National School curriculum. In a way, it helps to give more knowledge and skills to the learners in the primary schools on farming and growing vegetables. Uh, like skumawichi, they have grown cabbages and they have been, we have been able to supplement their beans at lunchtime, and indeed even the teachers' meals. And I'm happy to tell you that some of the children have already extended this knowledge and skills to their homes. You find that they have vegetable gardens at school and they also have vegetable gardens at home. I appreciate Dana because I have learned so many things from it. I have learned how I keep I can keep myself clean. I have learned how I keep the how I can keep the environment clean. How I can sort the rubbish, uh, non-biodegradable materials and biodegradable materials. Biodegradable materials are materials that can rot and then biodegradable materials are materials that cannot rot. I'm a mother so I've been following even my children's uh, school. They have grown up with that too. So today those schools we have in Kampala they have the same practical skills like we are doing in Sweden. We, environment and health program. So today, today I can have a smile on my face when I see that the children in Kampala school is doing the same. And I know that this program will have a big, big benefit in the future. My vision is that in 20 years from today, we will have a healthier environment and we will reduce some of the health problems they have today. So this is very important to take the children on this journey because developing a new Africa's vision we cannot really reach without the children. If there is a will, there is a way. If there is a will, there is a way. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Develop Africa environment. Keep on going, keep on going. Plant a tree and you keep your gun clean. The pile of Africa is supposed to look so green, clean.